Today marks 44 years since a pivotal and tragic event in San Francisco history. The assassination of San Francisco Mayor George Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk. The two were shot and killed by another member of the Board of Supervisors, Dan White. In the Castro tonight, people gathered to remember Milk and Moscone. As NBC Bay Area's Alyssa Gord explains, the event feels especially heavy in light of recent violence against the LGBTQ community. This is where uh, Harvey Milk was called the mayor of Castro Street. This is where he lived. The Harvey Milk Democratic Club hosts this vigil each year in the Castro on the anniversary of the day Supervisor Milk and Mayor George Moscone were fatally shot at San Francisco City Hall. As a like trans and queer person, I thought it was important to be out here today. Milk became one of the country's first openly gay elected officials when he won a seat on the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in 1977. Organizer Jeffrey Kwong says on the 44th anniversary of the assassinations, the grief is compounded by the recent killings at an LGBTQ club in Colorado Springs. As a week after Club Q and the shootings, uh, the increased violence against LGBTQ folks around this country, we want to uh, stand in solidarity, create space for us to uh, remember. I think what is most important for us. Carol Ruth Silver, who served on the Board of Supervisors with Milk, says that she's come to these vigils each year. And the, uh, the crowd has gotten much smaller. The remembrances are much less. But for me, it will never, ever, ever go away. Silver says it's heartbreaking to see continued violence against the LGBTQ community. It's just difficult to understand how with all the progress that's been made since those days. Violence against queer people, against queer children, um, it's not just coming in like the form of bullets killing people. Attendees say they see parallels between violence past and present. They've come together to mourn and to call for a safer and more inclusive future. In San Francisco, Alyssa Gord, NBC, Bay Area News.